Hello everyone, it's Margo again. In this video, I will explain how to access the Tekila environment from MATLAB by using the Cloud for Helper function included in the Tekila SDK. After watching this video, you should have a relatively good understanding on how the Cloud for Helper function works and how you can use it to distribute your own MATLAB application. Please note that the instructions described in this video require that you have downloaded and configured the Tekila SDK and that you have a valid keystore file. Instructions for downloading and configuring the Tekila SDK can be found in another tutorial video. I'm going to start by creating a very simple locally executable function. So this function will take one input argument which will be used to define the number of iterations in the for loop. Then I'm going to reallocate some memory for the result. Then defining a fixed variable that will be used in the computations. Then we will define the actual for loop. and store the result of each for loop iteration in the result array. The operations done in each iteration are very trivial as you can see. Then we just save the file and run the code. Here we see the result containing 10 elements ranging from 11 to 110. Then we can convert this to a tequila enabled version by replacing the for loop with a cloud for loop. So this is done by replacing for with cloud for and end with cloud end. And then I save the file and I can run the code. I will store the results in a different uh, variable, so you can see that they will be identical. And the Tekila initialized message means that I was able to connect to the Tekila server successfully. And after that, the code will be automatically compiled into an executable binary. So in this case, the code is between Cloud4 and CloudEnd and consists of only one line. But if you have more complex code, all of that will be compiled into binary. Now the compilation is complete, and we say the computational project being created, and yellow indicates just being computed on the Glow workers. And here we have the results. And if we compare them to the local version, we see that they are identical, as expected. Now I'm going to run the code again. And I'm going to store it with a different variable again, the result. Just to illustrate that compilation doesn't occur every time. In this case, we didn't do any modifications to the code, meaning we can use the existing recompile binary. And this means that the second execution will be much faster because the compilation step is skipped. And the results are again identical. 